Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. John Mark was a young man who went with Paul and Barnabas on their first mission journey as Paul preached about Jesus Christ in new cities and new countries. But something happened on that journey. We're not really told what, but in Acts 13, 13, John Mark left them, went back home. Paul and Barnabas were planning their second mission trip in Acts 15, 37, 38, it says Barnabas wanted to take John, also called Mark, with them. But Paul did not think it wise to take him because he had deserted them, had not continued with them in the work. I imagine John was devastated. Apostle Paul no longer trusted him to work in ministry. I wonder how many who were once passionate workers for Christ today are spiritually weakened and just existing they are out of church, disconnected from their former passion, and sick in body and soul. I wonder how many were once workers for Christ in ministry of some kind, singing, teaching, helping in some way in the church. But something happened, and you left, maybe just drifted away, and now you wonder if God could ever use you again. In 2 Timothy 4, Paul is writing his last letter and asks for some things he needs, books, a coat, papers, and he adds in verse 11, Get Mark and bring him with you, for he is very useful for me in ministry. Mark is once again in ministry, and Apostle Paul is asking for him. John Mark has been restored. Yesterday we prayed for families that have strayed from their godly heritage. Today we're praying for those who have left the church but feel a renewed stirring and wonder if there is restoration for them a place in the church Jesus is getting ready for his return. 1 Peter 5.10 After you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your gifts in our lives and thank you for the calling to join you with joining with Jesus as fellow workers in your church. What a privilege to work together with Christ to make a difference no matter how small in our cities and in our communities. Father God, I'm asking you today for those who have left the church, whether they've been hurt or wounded or because they simply messed up somehow. Jesus, I'm praying today for another chance for those who believe they have missed their one shot. Jesus, let them know the mercy of God. Let them feel Holy Spirit stirring their heart again. And Jesus, I pray for those who have been hurt, those who have been wounded in ministry. Let them find healing in you, Jesus. Lord, heal the broken, bind up the wounded, and make them usable in your kingdom once more. Jesus, let them know they can start again now through your mercy and with your grace. Let the power of your gifts and your calling by your great grace Drive back this present darkness. Heal our land. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.